Yo guys, what's up? What's up Kenya? I want you to listen in to why Kenya right now is having to pay huge taxes. Why we are currently in a, in a tax mess. Why our country right now cannot, you know, our constitution requires that we don't have someone's face on, uh, on the, our currency why we keep having new 2010 notes in 2018 despite our constitution illegalizing it yeah so i want you to listen in to why we are currently having a huge tax debt in our country right now uh well um i'm a baby boomer i was born just after the war uh we've had probably we've probably uh, had the longest period of peace and prosperity uh, globally uh, i would say uh, from that time i've put a little bit of modest money away so i can hand something down to my family when i pass on largely because i've never spent more money than i've earned and i've been prudent and i've worked moderately hard now it always seems to me as a complete surprise to politicians how countries get in debt. Let me explain, because I don't think you really understand it. It's because politicians consistently spend more money than they raise in taxation, more money than they can possibly raise in taxation, most of which, in point of fact, they actually waste. The reason we're talking about countries which are broke, and they are broke, is because they're ridiculous, ineffective, Ignorant politicians consistently spend more money than they can raise, and then they borrow, and they borrow, and worse, they then print money because politicians and their central banks have a machine which prints money. You do that as a private citizen, and it's a criminal offence. You would go to prison for doing that, and politicians and their central banks do it all the time. Let me explain to you that these countries are broke and they're broke because of their own stupid leadership and politicians and it's immoral, immoral to ask ordinary taxpayers of any country to pick up the tab for failed politicians and failed banks. They are defaulted, they're broke, for God's sake let's all of us admit it. Chinese now give developing countries huge debts and they're giving uh, countries of their own interest, huge debts, whether we like it or not, we have got to pay. And if you check uh, the countries which they are giving loans to are now in crisis. Is it a coincidence that all countries that China is giving loans to suddenly have economic crisis? Think about it. Like, why should someone give you a loan then immediately you have, your country starts having problems. What is the motive behind huge debts that Chinese is giving to the developing African countries? Yes, they know they cannot pay. For example, South Africa, Chinese give South Africa a huge debt. Kenya right now we are in crisis. Uh, Nigeria too. So what do the Chinese really need from Africa? Why is there sudden interest in Africa with them giving huge debts? Leave alone uh, Chinese having huge population. We, also, we all know that they are also trying to decrease their population by sending some of their people to Africa. Yeah? They have billions of people, of Chinese. Uh, what, what really do Chinese need you know, countries cannot just have problems after having deaths from Chinese. Like, we know countries have lost their, you know, their geographical area to Chinese. Uh, now we are having a risk if we don't pay, if we don't pay our debts in time, we, we are highly likely to lose <laughs> sad to say Mombasa, we are highly at risk to lose Turkana to the debt. I don't know if the president really knows that.
So we are going to have huge, uh, huge burden of having to pay tax, even with the 8% tax increase. Unfortunately, that's the president we all voted for. So we have to pay the debts in huge time. So there's no... Uh,